listeners in the first part of this program we have discussed some of the aspects of geology in our daily life let us now discuss few other domains of geology and their relevance in our life natural resources are materials from the earth that are used to support life and meet people's needs natural resources are used to make food fuel and raw materials such as minerals rocks soil sediments water and fossil fuels rocks and minerals are all around us you must be familiar with some of the rocks mostly used in our daily life for example granite pegmatite rhyolite quartzite gabbro diorite basalt marble sandstone shale siltstone and slate likewise you must have come across some of the minerals around us like quartz gypsum mica garnet calcite asbestos and orthoclases Our use of rocks and minerals includes building material, metals, automobiles, appliances, cosmetics and many more. Minerals like clays used in cosmetic and ceramic industry, mica used as insulator in electrical equipments, sulfur bearing minerals used in paint and pigment industry and diamond in abrasive industry are all extracted from rocks metals like iron aluminum manganese copper lead zinc chromium silver gold and tin are important and have always been indispensable for our civilization these metals are extracted from the ores for example copper is extracted from chalcopyrite and aluminum is extracted from bauxite ore building stones like quartzite sandstones granite are used for construction of roads and buildings mostly the locally occurring rocks are preferred because of neighborhood availability that reduces the transportation and cost considerations igneous rocks like granite are often used because of durability we get precious and semi precious stones like diamond emerald ruby moonstone and amethyst which are used by human beings for ornamental and decorative purposes rocks can be ground and used as fertilizers they provide elements like phosphorus potassium sodium magnesium and sulfur as plant nutrients in order to maintain a healthy lifestyle and strengthen the body humans need to consume minerals daily we know that calcium is necessary for healthy bones and teeth and we know milk and dairy products are good sources of it but where does it come from Calcium is a mineral that can be found in the soil which means that grass contains lots of calcium when cows eat the grass the calcium builds up in their bodies and comes out in their milk rocks and minerals play a valuable role in the natural system they provide biodiversity hotspots such as western ghats which hosts 
habitat for two biosphere reserves, 13 national parks to restrict human access, and several wildlife sanctuaries to protect specific endangered species. The food we eat depends on the soil it grows on. Soil can contain many different minerals that can affect how a food grows. The minerals present in the soil are the result of how the soil and subsoil formed. Soils have become a non-renewable resource and the declining capital by the present patterns and level of food grain production and economic growth and development. Do you know that 12 out of 16 elements present in plants such as calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, manganese, zinc come from weathering of rocks present in the earth's crust? All life requires water. The hydrosphere or earth's water is an important agent of geologic change. Water resources are sources of water that are useful or potentially useful to humans for agricultural, industrial, household, recreational and environmental activities. Water on earth is present in the form of rainwater, groundwater and mineral water springs and above all from rivers and glacial melts. Groundwater is defined as water beneath the surface of the earth. Groundwater commonly occurs as water that fills pore spaces between mineral or rock grains in sediments and sedimentary rocks. It also exists in cracks and fractures in crystalline rocks such as granite or limestone. Water is essential for human survival and well-being and important to many sectors of the economy. For proper planning, exploration, conservation and utilization of water, geological studies are very important. Power or energy resources come in many forms, including nuclear, fossil fuels like natural gas, oil and coal and renewable resources like wind and solar. The majority of the electricity we use in our homes comes from fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas are formed from the decay of the living organism from millions of years ago. The most significant uses of coals are in electricity generation, steel production, cement manufacturing and as liquid fuel. Steam coal or thermal coal is mainly used in power generation. Coking coal also known as metallurgical coal is mainly used in steel production. Can you imagine your world without petrol or diesel? Petroleum is a naturally occurring liquid found beneath the earth's surface that can be refined into fuel. Petroleum is a fossil fuel, meaning that it has been created by the decomposition of organic matter over millions of years. Plastics are derived from natural organic materials such as cellulose, coal, natural gas, salt and of course crude oil. 
the process of distillation separates the heavy crude oil into groups of lighter components called fractions. One of these fraction is naphtha which is crucial compound for the production of plastics. Nuclear power generation is used in steam turbines to produce electricity in a nuclear power plant. Uranium and thorium are the main atomic minerals. Other atomic minerals are beryllium, lithium and zirconium. Kerala has the world's highest level of natural radioactivity in a densely populated area. The beach sand on the west coast of India, particularly in Kerala, contains one of the rich deposits of thorium in the world. Are you aware that there is the vast reservoir of heat energy in the Earth's interior which are manifested on the surface of the Earth in the form of volcanoes? Fumaroles Geysers steaming ground and hot springs geothermal energy refers to the heat energy generated and stored in the earth currently Geothermal energy is being commercially used for electricity generation. This energy can be used for heating our homes and heating water for swimming pools. Reservoirs created by dams were constructed to meet basic human needs not only to suppress floods but also provide water for activities such as irrigation for sustainable agriculture, potable water for human consumption, industrial use, aquaculture and navigability. Hydropower is often used in conjunction with dams to generate electricity. Geologists investigate the engineering properties of rock and soil, which are useful for an engineer in developing structures such as bridges, railway lines, highways, roads, tunnels, metros, high-rise buildings, dams, airports, etc. Geologists play a major role in all the engineering projects. Right from planning, designing, construction and maintenance of the project. So learners, till now we have discussed the role of geologists in exploration of the natural resources, power resources and in planning and maintenance of engineering projects. In the next part of the program, we will talk about the role of geology and geologist 
in a few more fascinating and exciting aspects such as enhancing tourism, sustainable agriculture and understanding the evolution of life. Thank you.